let's see if this works. Oh, shit. it works. Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video today, we're gonna be doing an update on the Trigger One Relay that I installed several years ago. Um, it's the solid state relay, which has Bluetooth functionality. It allows you to operate your accessory lights or whatever accessory you choose to wire the relay to through your phone, through Bluetooth, through their, uh, their Trigger ACS app. So in that video, it was an unboxing and installation of the Trigger One Relay. And the link to that video is right here. If you want to go and check it out, go ahead. It will uh, show you basically, like I said, the unboxing, what you get, the installation process when I installed it into the Montero. But if you watched that video, I did have a few issues. And that at that time, I had a Google Pixel 3 XL, and I had trouble connecting to the One Relay for the Bluetooth functionality and using the, the uh, Trigger One app to obviously use the product. I thought it was a Bluetooth issue with the phone. I had contacted Google and come to find out everything was fine on the phone. And I didn't think it was the phone because the Bluetooth functionality, I was able to connect to uh, any other Bluetooth devices I had at the time. So I had contacted Trigger One and their support was so-so. They were saying the app wasn't maybe optimize uh they had me try a few things uninstall reinstall the app and didn't really work so in that video i took my old samsung galaxy note 4 and i downloaded the app and tried it and it worked so it looked like at the time that the sugar acs app was only working on older versions of android at the time so it was a little disappointing that i couldn't really use the app on at the time a newer version of Android and I'm not sure if this is an issue with Apple iOS devices um, there are some videos I looked on YouTube with some people trying to connect with the trigger app with their iPhones and they had similar issues but eventually they were able to uh, connect and use it so it went a few years and to be honest I was pretty disappointed um, the relay was just a relay I didn't wasn't able to use the app I had tried a few times. There's been maybe two or three or even four Android versions where, uh, since the time I installed it. And I just never tried to use the app. I was just kind of like discouraged to use it. The Trigger One Relay has just been a regular relay. My ditch lights are connected to the Trigger One Relay. I've uh, still been be able to use them. My regular wire, have a switch, no problem. I've seen in other videos where I've used these lights. I was getting to the point where I was about to go ahead and just remove it, maybe sell it, and put back a regular relay. So before I was making the decision to go ahead and remove the Trigger One Relay, I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and give the app one more shot to see if it worked. And I'm kind of glad I did because I went ahead and opened the app and immediately once i opened the app it prompted me to do a few things that it's never done before and i did those prompts and voila it started to work uh, all the features that the trigger one relay that i could do in the app were all working i just made sure it worked i tried a couple things and it's worked flawlessly every time i've off opened the app and that was about two weeks ago so this is the reason I'm doing an update video because it confirms that it works with Android 13. Um, I'm not sure if, if it'll work on other older versions of Android 13. I'm assuming it will. But as of today, this video, um, I'm using my Google Pixel 6 Pro. It is on Android 13 with the most up-to-date security updates. The app is working. So if you have a phone that's running the latest Android, it should be working the app if you are using the Trigger One or the Trigger ACS apps with their other products. I'm not sure for next month because next month Google is going to be releasing a new Pixel, which I'm planning to get. And along with that, Android 14. So 
once I confirm Android 13 works with the ACA uh, Sugar app, I will post a comment in this video and an update on in the description. So anyone that is that has or is going to upgrade the Android 14, they can know that it does work. Okay, so we're going to show you how the features uh, on the Trigger One uh, app and the Relay work. Um, it's dark now. I'm actually at work, so you'll probably be able to see the light better. So before we go into it, I'm going to show you the Relay, how it should operate. Um, the relay I said is right here, All right? So what we're going to do, we have to turn on the lights first to get the relay to obviously power it, power it up. So I'm going to turn on my ditch lights. Ditch lights are on. And as you can see, relay status, it's working ditch lights are on so let's get the app started all right lights are on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the app apps right there and i'm going to choose the one bluetooth relay and then what i'm going to wait for is that to say connected right there so it is connected so the app should be working I'm going to go and turn them off now. Lights are off. All right. App still on. We're going to turn them back on. So we're going to dim them. This is the dimmer right here. Uh, remember, uh, it is on the camera. These are LEDs, so they're going to flicker. But if in real life, they're not flickering. It's a steady light. So if you see the flicker on the video, that's normal. As we go, I'm going to start, as I go up, they get brighter. All right, next is the uh, strobe feature. As the other feature on the app, and then hit the strobe. So another question that will probably be asked, and this is a question I would personally have, is how far does the um, Bluetooth connect to the relay uh, if you want to operate on a distance? So right now I'm about 15 feet from the Montero, so I'm going to just give it a shot, turn it on, so it works at 15 feet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go another... 10 feet, 25 feet, see what it does. All right, we're another 10 feet, so we are at uh, 25 feet away. So we're gonna go and see if it works. So it works at 25 feet. All right, we're 45 feet away. Still works. All right, I went a little bit further. I went to see how far I went before this said uh, I lost connection. So I was just, I'll just under a hundred feet to where I started to lose connection. So right now I'm, I'm about 95, 94 feet away from the Montero. And let's give it a shot. That still works. We'll see all the other functions here. We'll do strobe. Strobe works. Let's try to dim it. Didn't work, so yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's an updated video confirming that Android 13 does work with the Trigger One Relay and the Trigger ACS app. So if you're in the market to purchasing one of Trigger One's products and or the Trigger One Relay, um, this video shows you it does work. Now, I'm not sure if it will work on older versions of Android. I'm assuming it will, as long as the Android version is not super old. I mean, I can't confirm that. So unfortunately, uh, it's a trial. Now, 
trial error thing for anyone that's using an older version. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm going to do a quick update. Um, as of Wednesday, October 4th, Google debuted the new uh, Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. And at the same day, they released a new eight Android 14. And like I said early in the video, I would update you to see if the Trigger ACS app works with Android 14. I upgraded to Android 14 uh, the next day, and I am confirming it does work. So I'm going to show you that it does work, that I am currently in Android 14 on my Pixel 6 Pro. So you shouldn't have any problems with this app working with Android 13 and Android 14. So yeah, I'm going to show you that it does work real quick. I am on Android 14. I upgraded yesterday. I'm going to open the app. The tooth relay and make sure it connects. It says it's connected. Turn it on. Dimming. Strobe. So there you go. It does work with Android 14. Now back to the rest of the video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you this helps you out. And uh, make sure you subscribe and hit a like. Have experiences, positive experiences, or you're having issues, be sure to leave a comment. And hopefully either I or someone else can give you a solution. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.